Hey everybody, welcome back to The Loop. This week we've been working our way through the opening chapters of Genesis and we've been learning that man has a serious problem. We disobey God. When we disobey God, we get angry. When we get angry, we take it out on other people. When we take it out on other people, rather than loving other people, we disobey God all over again. It's a constant and a really ugly cycle in all of our lives. Unfortunately, in the opening chapters of Genesis, the problem only grew worse. In Genesis chapter 6, verse 11, we read this. Now the earth was corrupt in God's sight and was full of violence. Verse 12, God saw how corrupt the earth had become for all the people on earth had corrupted their ways. Things got so bad that God decided to send a flood that would destroy the people who lived on the earth. But in the midst of this dark world that was about to be destroyed, God would create an opportunity for man to be saved. God called on a man named Noah and he asked him to build an ark. All those who were in the ark would be saved from the wrath of God that was about to come on the world. The ark was a temporary solution, but years later, God would create a permanent solution. His name would be Jesus. In Matthew chapter 24, Jesus is actually teaching us about the end of the world. In verse 37, Jesus said, as it was in the days of Noah, so it will be at the coming of the son of man. When the wrath of God came on the world, those who were in the ark would be saved, and only those who were in the ark would be saved. When the wrath of God comes on the world a second time, those who are in Jesus will be saved, and only those who are in Jesus will be saved. Some people read this chapter in Genesis and they wonder, well, why did God even create people if he was going to be so frustrated with them? I believe that God did all of this early in human history so that the vast majority of people who would live on the earth would know the wrath of God has come on the world once and it is coming again. And only those who are in Jesus will be saved from it. If you don't have a relationship with Jesus, it's the only hope that any of us have for the salvation that we need. Ask Jesus today to forgive your sins, ask him to lead your life, and then let us know so that we can help you follow Jesus in baptism.